Welcome to Poems by Yaz. This is episode 17, and today's topic is enjoy the day. So you can see I'm in the park. So it's very green behind me. There's fresh air, sunlight, and my baby sleeping in the stroller. So that means I can film my video. So if you're new to my channel, Poems by Yaz, each week I share a poem that I wrote and a personal story of someone I know or myself, and I share tips on the topic. So today will be a great day because it's enjoy the day and I have a different setting. You can see the sun shining and the trees behind me. So today I'm first going to start with my poem. The sun is shining in the sky, so bright no one can deny. The summer winds such a breeze. I can see all the trees, feeling happy for this day, taking time out just to say, this is the moment I can clear my mind for enjoying the peace and quiet with fresh air. No worries or thoughts for I'm relaxed because I am enjoying my day off. Today's topic is enjoy the day. So my personal story, I'm going to talk about someone I know that is a nurse and she had two jobs and she would work all the time. She would, um, when, she, when it was her weekend off, she wouldn't take that weekend off. She would just work at the other job. She had two kids, but she didn't spend a lot of time with her kids because she was busy working. So she thought if she worked a lot, that she would provide for her family as well as her husband and pay for the education and that was it. She just worked and she didn't take care of her health very well because she was so focused on working and making that paycheck. Sometimes people get, get wrapped up in making a paycheck where they don't take that good care of themselves because they're so worried about paying that next bill. So when I talk about enjoy the day, sometimes we need to take time for ourselves because um, this girl I know, when she went for her annual checkup, the doctor found a lump that could be possible, possibly cancerous. So when she found that out, she started changing her lifestyle. She started to take some days off work because she didn't know how much time she had. Because if she did have cancer, she wouldn't have the moments with her kids. So she went on a vacation to Niagara Falls for a weekend, even though it was a simple vacation because they didn't go on vacation in so many years because she was just so focused on working. And then she started to take some days off because she didn't know how much time she had. She had a bucket list of things that she wanted to do and she started working on that list. So sometimes when we have enjoy the day, we have to enjoy the time that we have with the people around us. We can enjoy the time with our family, our friends, and that can help make us a little bit happy. So in, in the end, she did find out that she didn't have cancer, but it was a big scare. So when she did find out about the lump and it wasn't cancerous, she started changing her lifestyle. She started eating healthier, drinking more water, taking walks. So you can see that I have trees around me and fresh air. So she started doing things that she didn't do before because she realized when she has her time off and enjoying the day, she has to enjoy the, the day that she has and appreciate the people that she's around as well. Even simple things that we do in our life, we have to be grateful for. Gratitude is really important because we have to be grateful for simple things that we have in our life, our friends, our family, people around us, and be appreciative for your job because if you have a job, you should be grateful because not everybody has a job. So if you have a car and good health, be happy that you're healthy because if you don't have good health, things can be more difficult because everyone has different challenges that they have to deal with. When you think of enjoying the time that you have and relaxing, sometimes if you have something on your mind and you can't really feel like you can relax, try and change the setting that you're in. Sometimes if you change your setting, it can make you feel better. Like, look behind me, the trees and the sun. So sometimes you can feel refreshed, even if you take time out to do something different for 20 minutes. Even if you have a list of stuff that you have to do and you feel stressed out because you can't do it right away, take at least 20 minutes out in the day to try and do something 
to make you relax and think about you first because the person that you have to love first is yourself and you have to let go of the past. Sometimes if there's something on your mind and you don't feel um, good, maybe you don't feel good about yourself or you need to forgive yourself because sometimes people have a hard time with forgiveness. They can't forgive themselves or they don't love themselves enough and that can prevent them from enjoying their day. So try and focus on the present and the moment that you have and that can make you feel better. It's good to have a positive mindset because if you get irritated over little things, it's not gonna make you feel good. For example, if you always get upset when there's traffic, you might not feel good at that moment because you're in traffic. Change the moment. When you're in traffic, do something. Take it as a quiet, peaceful moment. You can listen to music and that calming music can make you feel better. So instead of looking at a situation that might make you feel upset or irritated, change it in your mind and make that moment different. Make that moment a positive moment for yourself. For example, if you don't like to wait in long lines, just wait in the long line and feel like you're relaxed during that time that you're on your line. And try and make peace with yourself at that time. Try not to make things negative and turn these things into positive because those things can help you have a more enjoyable day. And don't hold on to the past because sometimes if little things in the past are bothering you and you can't forgive people for things that they did in the past, even little things that they can't remember, then you won't enjoy the day in the current moments because you're holding on to that. You need to learn to let go so that you can move forward. And those are little tips that you can move on and enjoy your day. If you have a tip, I'd like to hear about it. Write in the comment section a tip that you use to enjoy your day. And I'll see you next week because my topic is called camping outside. So join me next week for Camping Outside.